Ah, it's good to be back in California, San Diego, California, where Comic-Con was. I'm sure you guys have watched some of the videos, and uh, now you can watch this here back at home in New York where it's sweaty and sticky and gross. Ugh. Anyway, welcome to Ringside Mailbag, where I've got my job back as I'd like to thank my buddy, uh, Brian Myers, for holding down the fort while I was gone. Thanks, Brian. Anyway, this is a show where you've got questions and we've got answers for only $9.99 a month. See what is it there? Funny! Let's get into the questions. You don't have to pay for the answers. But if you want to give me money, I mean, if you're away. Anyway. Why is it that Diva's legs have articulation and basics, but the superstars don't? Um, because the Divas are kind of mixed between elites and regular figures. Um, so they can be put in either line. It's just kind of how it works. They don't have to change the mold, and, and you have one happy, flexible Diva. All right, next question. Why is a Mattel box using the WWE Network logo instead of the original logo? Well, WWE is going to be switching over soon. That logo is going to be the new logo for everything. Um, they just haven't done it yet. Patience, patience. But hey, this could mean like brand new title belts and all that cool stuff. So, with patience comes good stuff. Maybe new stuff and stuff. Carrying on. If Jeff Hardy comes back to the WWE, will Ringside Collectibles make a Hardy Boys flashback? That's a good question. Definitely we would consider that. Um, little fun fact for you. The Hardy Boys, uh, they were going to be one of our first exclusives from their WrestleMania match. But Jeff ended up leaving the company, so it never happened. But that would have been cool, would it have not? You agree? I know you do. Wow! Alright, next question. What items do you sell for $9.99? We've got... Cena Pebbles for $9.99. Slam City, CM Punk vs. The Miz. Mattel's WWE Global Superstar, Rey Mysterio. Mattel's WWE Series 38, Kofi Kingston. And the ringside exclusive, the Ultimate Ladder and Table playset in black. These items could be all yours for just $9.99 for a limited time offer. Next question. Why is it that every time there is a tag team, they get released in separate series? For example, the whole Shield wasn't in the same series, and the New Age Outlaws were in different series. Why is that? It's a good question. Um, I can't really give you a solid answer. Um, I know Mattel likes to stretch things out, and I, I guess they kind of want to keep thing, things interesting for each wave of figures that come, comes through. Um, besides, it depends on you know the popularity of each superstar, and they want to keep the popularity spread out amongst the sets. That would be my best educated guess. Let's hop along to the next question. Do you think we'll ever see a dream match double pack, Sting versus Undertaker? Um, well, as you saw at the panel, Mattel, Comic Con, San Diego, Sting is out. Sting is now part of Mattel and WWE. So, I think it's very possible. Let's keep our hopes up. All right, next question. Can the ringside casket playset fit a Yokozuna figure? Well, this is it. This is the first time you're ever gonna see the casket playset in action. Let's find out. The answer is, kind of. He gets almost all the way in there. Yokozuna is actually the only superstar that doesn't fit. But you do have foam padding on the sides, which allow for superstars like Rikishi to fit in. Boink. One, two, right on in there. You can also fit other superstars like Wow. Let's see if we can get ourselves a cane in there. Close the casket, and the match is over. Don't forget all the cool accessories. The breakaway tombstone. Shovel. And of course, the urn. All right, that's all the $9.99 gets you. I lied. Time for some Twitter bonus questions. Let's see what we got here on the Twitter box. <clears throat> is This is a good one. Is the real page, is the at real page WWE, that's page for you guys who don't know, that's our Twitter name, figure elite or basic, and what series is it? Um, I don't know what series it is, but I do believe that it is going to be elite. From the looks of it, it looked elite. All right, 
Last Twitter question. What figure are you looking forward to that you saw at San Diego Comic-Con? That's a great question. Um, personally, I was very, very stoked on two figures. Um, one being the Doink, which I didn't get to actually see or touch or feel because it's still in the early stages. Uh, the fact that it comes with three different hairs is um, amazing. And then secondly, um, the Razor Ramon figure. That is, I, Razor Ramon's been one of my favorite wrestlers for the longest time and I'm very excited to see a brand new Mattel Razor Ramon. So that's that. Till next time, leave your questions, comments, concerns down below and uh, I'll see you, I'll see you next week. Everybody rest up, it's hot outside. Unless you live in like Alaska, it's probably cold or, I don't know, I'm gonna go.